Hello everybody, this is Andrew Robotter here, and welcome back to Five Nights of Powerpuff Girls, where we will be continuing on with Going for the Good Ending in Part 5 of this Let's Play. And if you're wondering why I'm still in the Night 4 minigame, well, I'll explain why. I actually just remembered something from Taste Gaming's um, comments on the YouTube video. Um, to get the good ending, we have to keep him away from... What do you call it? Oh, yes. The Blossom Suit. We have to keep him away from the Blossom Suit. Which is hard to do because he always moves in like a spire and like a, a random direction wherever you like are moving to. So, yeah. And also, I apologize if I haven't been making videos the past few days because, one, I was spending the weekend up in Connecticut with some friends. And two, I also apologize I haven't uploaded Final Fantasy Powerpuff Girls in a while. It's because I was trying to figure out how to get the good ending. That's why, the good ending, sorry. That's why, I, that's why I posted in the comments section asking if, if any of you know how to go for it. But I pretty much remembered it, so it's going to be hard to get it, but I'll try it. In. Okay, so anyways, on to... Part 5, and let's see what has before us. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we just leave the room, obviously. Now we get into night 5. Okay. For night 5, we're going back to the pizzeria. Because I can beat night 5 in the pizzeria with, like, little to no issues. Okay. Here we go. Night five. On to night five. Let's see what has to offer for us. Sorry, I just had to adjust my camera for a second. There you go. Got Bonnie. Hmm. Yep. As usual, Bunny moves the fastest on night five. Faster than everyone else. Yep, get rid of Blossom. Check for Bubbles and then Buttercup. Yep, they're gone. Perfect. Hmm. All right, Buttercup's here, so I gotta keep the left door closed. Bubble still isn't showing up, but she moves slower than the others on night five. Anyways, she doesn't move fast like the others until like she doesn't move fast like the others until you get to like the 420 mode. Until you get to like night six in the 420 mode. As where Bubbles moves like just as fast as the others. All right. So we got rid of Bunny and Buttercup. So far, I've had to deal with everyone except um, Bubbles, because she doesn't move really fast until like night night six in the 420 mode. Yep, got rid of Bonnie. She's moving all right. Yep. Yep, Bonnie's going to be running. She's coming all right. <laughs> Let's 
Let's see, is Buttercup there? Because I know Bubbles isn't there, and neither is Blossom. Nope. I'm surprised that sign on the at Pirate's Cove doesn't change, because in Finest of Freddy's... Oh, there's Buttercup. In Finest of Freddy's 1 and Finest of Sonic's, the, the sign of Pirate's Cove changes to It's Me, whenever Foxy and Tails move. But when they're there, same with all the, the Foxy-type characters, it says, Sorry, out of order. I don't know why it doesn't say It's Me in that game. That makes more sense because if it says it's me, you'll know if the cat, who, you'll know whoever's on the show stage leaves when it says it's me. So that actually makes more sense to add that. Oh hi, Buttercup. You're at the left door. <laughs> and Bonnie is leaving the stage. Deal with Blossom and then Bubbles. Yeah, Bubbles usually doesn't show up on later nights or on like most nights until like 4 or 5 a.m. Which is interesting. It's interesting that Bubbles moves slower than the others on like all five nights, but on night six in the 420 mode, she moves like just as fast as the others. Sorry if you couldn't hear that for a second. Oh, hi, Bubbles. I just found Bubbles. I apologize if you didn't if you didn't hear it for a second, but um, apparently the sound went away for a second. Okay, Bubbles is gone. Bonnie's gone. Just had to deal with the both of them. Surprisingly, on nights four and five, you don't get double teamed in this game. On like, but on night six in the four twenty mode, you start getting double teamed like crazy. Because in most FNAF fan games, you start getting double teamed on like. Nights 4 and 5. Alright, we're doing well so far. It's 5 a.m. And we beat night 5. Boom. Yay, the kids are cheering. That's actually the best part about the 6 a.m. celebrations. Alright. So now here comes the hard part. We have to get him away from the costume. Okay, how do I get him away from the costume? That's actually the, the, the big question. Do I just need to run and, like, do I just need to, like, keep getting, just running simultaneously or something? Okay, so. Okay, how do I get him away? Because this is actually hard. Okay. Okay, this is not the, this is the hard part. Apparently, this is the hard part. Getting him away from the costume. <sighs> well, so much for me trying to get the good ending. I can't even seem to figure out how to get the good ending. Like, how are you supposed to, to know when he moves if when you walk in the same direction? There's, like, no logical explanation. <coughs> See, I couldn't get him out. See? See, got the bad ending again. Ugh, why can't I get the good ending in this game? This is just, this doesn't make any sense at all. There's got to be a way to go for the good ending. Alright, well, there you have it. Let's find out the Power Book Girls. The most disappointing ending to a game that I've ever played. I don't know. I, I don't even know what else to say. <laughs>